um, you know, it's kind of quiet in the building right now, kind of dark. Um, sorry. Right now, um, we're doing the final, um, just a perfect you know, preparations that Utah football just passed away. Uh, they were just like, no, fuck that, guys. You know, Utah football didn't pass away. Welcome to the edition of Mr. E Says. Let me tell you something, guys. All right? Yeah, last week was horrible. Very horrible. All right? I wasn't able to watch it. Thank God I wasn't able to watch it because, I don't know, I might have been killing myself. All right? I listened on the radio with John Teicher. Even John Teicher, the voice of the minors, he couldn't come up with positives. I think John Teicher wanted to commit suicide on the radio. He was that upset. The sad thing about it is we lost the glue to the team, guys. And you know it. Jamil Showers is, is gone. He's hurt. He's probably gone for the rest of the season. So here we go. We got to go with Sullivan. You know what? I give Sullivan props. You know what? Yeah. You know what? It wasn't Sullivan's fault. The team seemed to have given up on the game. There is no way that Rice was that much better than UTEP. Okay? Obviously, that day they were. But now you got Sullivan in the game, and we're going to have to play number 12, Johnny Football. I'm sorry, Texas A&M. Yeah, that's what they're called. But anyway, coach, please listen to me. I don't know what you do in your locker room. All right? As of late, it looks like maybe you guys are playing a little bit of Twister, Scrabble, Tic-Tac-Toe, a little bit of Grab-Ass. I don't know, man, but it doesn't look too good. But here's the plan. Coach, this week, when you're making your game plan, this is what you need to do. Show films. Show lots of films. I'm not talking about films of, of football films. I'm talking about movie films. All right? You can do the Rocky Saga. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. Rocky got ball, baby. You can do Karate Kid with Pat Morita. You can do Hoosiers. You can do any given Sunday. Do all these films, man. But better yet, if you show any of these guys this weekend, do this. Show them the claim to fame. The UTEP Trap Stamp. That's what I like to call it. 1985. BYU versus UTEP. Number 7. BYU coming into town. The Undisputed Champions of NCAA football. And they got their ass kicked. That's what you need to show them, coach. All right? That's all I got for you. Another thing. The sad thing about this game, everybody didn't get to watch it. Everybody, all of a sudden. ESPN2 was calling everybody. They're like, you know what? We decided we we want to show the primetime blockbuster. Johnny Football's Texas a and Maggie's Versus the UTEP Miners. Yeah, you know why they wanted to show it? It was Halloween weekend. Halloween is just finished. And they decided, hey, let's make it the Fright Fest ESPN weekend that we've all dreamed of. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 8. UTEP versus Texas A&M. The death of a miner. That's what they want. But let me tell you something, guys. I don't care. I, I do not care. Because you know what? In front of my house, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, you'll see that flag right in back of me, flying high. Because I'm a proud of my UTEP miners. I don't care if they're 1 and 11. I don't care if they're 1 and 20 or 1 and 30. I fly those colors. That's all I got, guys. Hey, Johnny Football, I got something for you to sign right here, baby. Ah!